Monster Movie Nights here at Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum. I am your internet horror host, Bobby Gam Monster, along with my pal, Boris the Buzzard. We hope that you are doing very well this chilly evening. Mm? <laughs> I'm so glad you could make it. The feature tonight is going to be, hmm, what's the word? Unnerving? Hmm. Something maybe unhealthy? Uh, the great outdoors? Getting to be that particular season for planting? Mm. Speaking of which, it's getting closer to Walpurgis Night. That's the end of uh, this month, April the 30th, Walpurgis Night or Walpurgis Nacht, which is basically a springtime Halloween because precisely six months from Walpurgis Night is Halloween itself. Well, Purchase Night is the time for planting. It's the time that we here at uh, Gargoyle Manor plants our pumpkin seeds in reverence for the uh, gods and the goddesses who look down upon us and be fruitful, hopefully, at the end of the year, all that we have planted and we will make um, jack-o'-lanterns from those pumpkins that grow from this time that we plant. And speaking of planting again, we're bringing in another segue. Tonight's feature, Dead Kansas, by the great filmmaker, Mr. Aaron K. Carter, is about planting, isn't it, Boris? Yes, and it's, it's about farms and uh, particulars of that. It's a, it's a great new film. It's uh, the first, again, for Monster Movie Night, meaning that... Uh, We've gotten to, to play it. I don't, I don't believe, as far as I know, any other horror host show has gotten to play this film. So we are the first on this. Plus, it is also a brand new movie. Made in 2013, 2014, this type of year. Yeah, so it's brand new. And it's we've got the wonderful... Um, um, oh, what's the word? The... the, the, uh, the can't think of the word. As an, that's not unusual for me, though, is it? Not, not really, no. But uh, perhaps it'll come to me, but it's, it's our pleasure. Let's put it like this. It's our pleasure, and if I could think of a better word, I would, to be able, allowed to show this film. And we thank Mr. Carter for not only making it, and along with his wonderful cast members that he has in his film, but for allowing us to show it to you here on Monster Movie Night. That's what I want to say. Right, Boris? Exactly. So, we've got our lucky shovel here. As you can see, Boris is holding this. Yes, we're just getting ready to go out and finish planting the rest of those pumpkin seeds. And while we're doing that, I want you to get ready for Dead Kansas. Papa. Yep. We're not gonna pick it up. Truck's getting a bit full. Let's let this thing burn where it's land. Dear Heavenly Father, please grant this soul the rest it deserves. May you find your peace at last. Amen. Amen. I don't think it's dead, Pa. Of course, it's dead. I shot him right in the skull. Everything I am the one who made you a 
everyone. Come on, it's okay. Gather around. Come in tight. Squeeze in. Now, I've made a lot of promises. Up until now, I've kept most of them. I fed you, kept you safe. Hell, we protect each other. But I've been hearing rumors lately that some of you ain't so happy anymore. <laughs> I know food's scarce, and it's getting harder and harder to survive every day. But I, brothers, have recently come into contact with a man who can help us. Before this disease spread across the land, this man was in a position of great power. He had anything a man could ever desire. The only thing he doesn't have is a woman. A woman to carry his bloodline. We could always send him Sally. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, of course, of course. I know, a woman like that does not exist. No, she doesn't. But a girl like that does. She lives just right over the hills with an old friend of mine. <laughs> I want a piece of her first. She's pristine. Food, water, ammo, anything we need. Anybody so lays a hand on that girl, but to bring her to me, I will personally cut you up and feed you the rottens. You, you, load up. We're taking a ride. <laughs> Thank you. For what? Back there with the rotten. I'm getting careless. You know, you came to be a pretty good shot. I'm glad I taught you. But, you know, I'm thinking of uh, heading over to Shambles tomorrow. I want see if they got anything worth trading for. Can I go? Now, Emma, we've talked about this. You know I can't let you do that. Come on, just let me come with you for once. It'll be fine, please. No. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on things. Keep things safe. Well, what is it, baby? That's just it, Pa. I'm not a baby anymore. I hate this place. It's so boring here. Boring? There's plenty for you to do around here. What about all those books? I practically scavenged an entire library I've for read you. them all. Some of them three times, but... That's not what I'm talking about. I want to go places and see things, and all I do here is pick vegetables and shoot rottens. Emma, there's nothing for you out there, kid. You know that. I mean, those things that we go out and shoot every morning, they're everywhere, which only proves my point. <sighs> Don't you see, I'm trying to do my best to give you something resembling a normal life. I know, Pa, I'm sorry. It's just... I get lonely. I don't have any friends. Well, you got me. It's not the same. It can't be like this everywhere. You know, sometimes I wish I never learned how to read. It only makes me dream of things I can't have and places I can't go. Look, Emma. I know living the way we do must be hard. Believe me, I know. But you've got to understand. Things are the way they are for a reason. I mean, it's no coincidence that those rottens are roaming the earth. And it's no coincidence that society has collapsed because of it. The good book speaks about this. It, uh, the apocalypse, Armageddon, call it what you want, but there's no denying that the times we're living in, these are the end of days. Those of us that continue to walk the righteous path and that who are thankful for the things that we do have, we're the ones that are gonna make it out of this and into heaven. But you've gotta realize what we're doing here this is a battle between good and evil. It's a battle for our mortal souls. And we can't afford to lose. May I be excused? Look, I don't mean to scare you, Em. I just... I need you to understand. I do. You know, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea for me to take you out to shambles tomorrow. Really? I'll think about it, okay? Promise. The hell? God damn, what is he doing here? Stay inside.
Glenn? Jebediah? You know it ain't wise to leave that gate open like that. Oh, that's all right. What we're here for only take a minute. Oh, yeah? Then why exactly are you here, Jeb? Easy, preacher. No need to be like that. Truth is, I've been thinking a lot about religion lately, and I can't think of no one better to speak to than you. I'm not a preacher, Jeb, and I never was. If you got something you're feeling guilty about, you can take it up with God directly. You still have faith, Glenn? My faith in God is tested every day. My faith in mankind was lost a long time ago. Good, good. Faith is good. Let's talk about the Bible. Look, I'm not here to indulge your religious whims, Jeb. Now go on and get out of here. And don't come back. And you, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. You know, I read that in the Bible, Glenn. Yeah, well, it's a problem with the Bible now, isn't it, Jeb? It'd be easily misinterpreted by the confused. You be careful what you say next. Well, we have ourselves a problem, Glenn. Every day that passes, more of us die turning in one of them maggot bags. Truth is, ain't no babies being born. Cycle's been broken, Glenn. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You better hope for your sake that I don't. Everything okay? Get back in the house, Emma. We need your daughter, Glenn. It's for the sake of mankind. You'll rot in hell before you ever lay a hand on her. Just think of her as the savior of the human race. And think of me as a prophet. You've been corrupted by evil, Jeb. The devil has twisted your mind. Like I said, you live in hell long enough, everyone turns into a demon. Get the girl. God damn, Glenn. I didn't think you actually had it in you. Dad? I see it. Jebediah, I'd turn around if I were you. Oh, we ain't leaving that easily. Jebediah, I'm telling you to turn around right now. You got a rotten coming right up on you. What, you think I'm stupid? Well, that's besides the point, Jeb. Now turn around or get out of the way so I can get a clean shot. <laughs> Okay, brother, I got you. I got you, little brother. Just think about the old days when we used to get served beer from those big titted women at the bar. <laughs> it's okay. I got you. 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 <sighs> He's gone to a better place. You should take comfort in that. This is all you're doing, Glenn. It's your fault. This ain't over for a long shot. I'm gonna get you, Glenn. You're gonna pay for my brother's blood. you to stay inside. He was aiming to hurt you. I was fine. Everything was under control. Will he be back? I wouldn't worry about him. I'm not gonna let him hurt you. Oh, damn, we got a twister coming. Come on, get to the cellar. scare me even more than the rottens. Easy, girl. Been through these before. Remember that one time you, me, and your mom were down here waiting on a twister? And that thing hit. She 
She was baking pies for the fair. She didn't have time to turn off the oven before we got down here. She was so worried about those pies. Remember what you said to her? Yes, Pa. You looked up at her in all your innocence and you said, Ma, tell her about them. Bet you the wind from the twister will keep them cool. By the time we got out of here, those things were blacker than coal. <laughs> I was so mad. Pa? Yeah. How did you do it? How'd I do what, Em? You know, when Mama changed. I didn't have any choice. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Yeah, I looked so much. I think it's past. I'm gonna go check on the fence. Stay inside. And this time I mean it. Lord, grant me strength. Why, Pom? Why? I got bit. Maybe I won't turn. Better you bleed to death? At least I'd die a human. Stay with me, Pa. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? Just, can you stand? Can you stand? Are you? I think so. What happened? The fence is trashed. There's runs everywhere. We gotta get out of here. Where are we gonna go? Shambles. We gotta get to shambles. Jeb, what's wrong? Where's the girl? Where, where's Zeke? He's dead. They killed him. Dead? They killed my brother, you tard! Just look! Jeb, what happened? Glenn did this. He just left us out there to die. Oh God. Just don't look me in the eye. There was rottens everywhere. 
Me and Zeke tried to fight him off as best we could, but God, they got him. They were coming from all directions. Glenn locked us out. Locked us out of the farm. He didn't even try to help. I don't sound much like Glenn. You call me a liar? No, no. You don't know a goddamn thing about Glenn. I knew God was dead the first time I saw one of you. I looked into those eyes and I saw nothing but hell. Glenn did this! He's gonna pay! But the girl... I want her alive! Girl, what you doing way out here? It's my pa. He had an accident on the farm. You need to help him, please. He's dying. Glenn? Please, you gotta help him. Follow me. Come inside. Let them do their job. Please, he needs a doctor. Okay, a real doctor. Yes, but that's the problem, miss. There ain't any doctors around here anymore. There has to be... There has to be one. Well, no. No, forget it. it he's an old man. He probably couldn't help you anyway. Please, sir, my paw's counting on me. You've got to tell me. What your father is counting on is that you stay alive. And right now, staying here with us is the best thing that you can do. And in all good conscience, I couldn't send you out there to find somebody who is probably not there. Sir, my pa could die. Please tell me. Well, his, his name is Dr. Emerson. He used to come here once a month and took care of the sick and made sure everyone was okay. Last time I heard from him, he was trying to find a cure for the sickness. 
But we haven't seen him in a long time. For all I know, he's become one of the Rottens. Your father's very weak, and he's lost a lot of blood. But you can see him now. You fool! You know the rule about bringing in outsiders? I know. It's Glenn and his daughter. They need our help. We gotta let them in. This is how it all starts. You bring in one person, and soon we're a hotel for every hillbilly who happens to wander close enough to find us. I know, but it's Glenn. We've been trading with him for years. He's never tried to cheat us. He's always treated us with respect. I figured it's the least we can do. You don't think he's going to change? Well, if he was bit, he would have changed by now, right? You know it's different, everyone. It's never the same. He could still change. This is our town, and we need to keep it that way. Look, he's a good man, and he needs our help. I know I'm going to regret this. Looks like I really did it to myself this time. You're gonna make it through this, Pa. Emma, look. This place isn't safe. These circus freaks, they're, they're good folks, but they're not gonna be able to protect you. And I'm not gonna be around anymore to watch over you. Oh, look, you're gonna make it, okay? It's gonna be all right. Easy now, easy. Emma. You gotta promise me something. What is it, Pa? If you see me starting to turn into one of those things you've got to put me down no 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 i can't do that okay it's gonna it's gonna be okay be all right. no <sighs> look emma everything is gonna be all right but not the way you think <sighs> now i'm heading back into the everlasting and there's nothing anybody in this world can do about it but if you see me starting to turn before my natural time take that gun you put a bullet right between my eyes I can't yes Yes, you can. Look, Emma, you're gonna have to grow up now. You're gonna have to be that woman you always meant to be. But that means doing the hard things, the right things that you were preparing yourself for all your life. You're ready. You won't die, I won't let you. Emma. You're one of the strongest people I've ever known. And I hope one day you get a chance to realize just how proud of you I am. But you're not stronger than God, and you're not stronger than death. Now, I believe in you, and I believe you can do just about anything you set your mind to. But circumventing God's will ain't one of them. The hell with God's will? It's enough of the blasphemy, Emma. Now, it's coming up on my time, and that's just something you're going to have to accept. You're going to have to stop worrying about me and start worrying about yourself. Look. They told me that there's a doctor five miles from here. Okay, I can make it there and back in no time. Emma, if you gotta go, I can't stop you. But if you do, don't ever come back here. Never again. You run and you keep running and you try to find some place safe, far away from here. You try to carve yourself out of life and if it's God's will, a family. You try to put all the evil and the corruption that's overrunning this place behind you. Now, I've lived a good life, but your life is still ahead of you. Stop looking back and get on with it. Well, I have faith that I could save you. Okay? This isn't over. Okay. Look, just come here. I love you, Emma. I love you too, Pop. This isn't over. I'm gonna see you again. I know, Angel. I know. I'd like to do a scream out for some friends of ours. A brand new show called The Hillbilly Horror Show. You can see it at hillbillyhorrorshow.com. It's supposed to be thrilling, chilling, and above all, kind of funny. That's right, a little bit of 
comedy mixed in there with the hillbillies of the uh, mountains, you know? <laughs> you can't beat a good hillbilly, right? Exactly. I mean, here in the foothills of Virginia, where we live, Gargoyle Manor, we've had our share of hillbillies. And let me tell you, I know a lot of you are thinking hillbillies. Ha, 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 ha. Let me tell you about hillbillies. You watch the Beverly Hillbillies with Granny? Well, Granny, what else would she have done? been in any other time but a witch correct a granny witch one who is in league not with no 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 not with mr b bills above below but within her inner grasp her inner core her nature her 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 very faculties of making poultices curing the sick helping and healing and making an occasional love potion now and then for her nephew. So if you think start thinking about hillbillies being funny, ha ha ha, you gotta remember what th that little hexy little lady can do to you if you make her mad. Not to mention, if she makes her, make her very glad, she'll make you something very cool, like some moonshine or some medicinal moonshine or something uh, roasted, oh what, roasted raccoon? Squirrel, rabbit, mmm, or if you really get in luck, roasted rattlesnake. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoy going to Hillbilly Horror Show. Tell them Bobby Gum Monster sent you. Okay, where can I find this Dr. Emerson? I know of a back road. We gotta go on foot. We got to go. Let's hurry. Come on. Think they'll make it? I don't know. Bye-bye. Good luck. You think they're dead? Hell yeah, ain't no way they survived that tornado. Any signs of anything yet? No, sir. Nothing? No, sir. Did you check the damn attic? No, sir. Looks like you two been standing around here jerking each other's puds. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I was clean, Joe. Nothing. Nothing? Uh, oh, well, it's fun this, though. It's not like... Why the hell didn't you show this to me earlier? Well, it's just an arm. Where's the body that goes with this arm? I probably got sucked out with the tornado. Oh, no. Unlike you. Glenn is smart. They're alive. These rottens didn't shoot themselves. Where's his truck? Well, I probably got swept away with the tornado, too. <laughs> Did you look down there? The tracks? They're alive. They drove out of here. Get the trucks. So what's next? We're gonna follow this road until we find him. What happens if we don't? Bad things. It's not that much further, Emma. I'm sorry we have to walk, but the main highway just has too many rottens on it. Are you sure this road is safe? Yeah, they never wander out this far. You must have been young when all this started. Did your father ever tell you? Tell you how it all began? Well. Pa always says that the balance between good and evil collapse, but I don't really like to bring it up to him about it much, because he'll just go off on a rant. What do you remember about it? 
Well, it hit the women first. I don't know how or why, it just did. One minute they were hanging out doing their thing. And then the next they turned mad crazy. It spread it like a forest fire, infecting everyone. And before you knew it, the whole world was turned upside down. You know, it's actually a miracle you never turned. It's been a long time since we've seen a girl like you. A real long time. Pa always said that I was special. Most of the time, we don't really relate much, but he always put me first, and he always made sure that I was safe. God, if anything happened to Pa... Hey, listen, your father's gonna be okay. He's a tough guy. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna find him that doctor and he's gonna be just fine. I thought you said this road was safe. Okay, Emma. Aim straight for the head and hit him right between the eyes. Lucky. Check it out. Take a look. More dead rotten. You think Glenn and his daughter did this? Yep. They did this. I know so. Where do you think they're going? I know exactly where they're going. Come on, boys. Get in the truck. What's it like in there? Don't know. Never been inside. We've always met out here. Come on. It's me, man. It's me. I could have cleaved your head clean off. What the hell you doing here, boy? Please, sir. We need your help. My father is dying. My help? You could have got your fool selves killed out here. Now get inside before you get me killed, too. Damn. Where is your daddy now? He's resting, back at Shambles. Shambles? That freak place? You still have that headless chicken running around? Got hungry, eh? You gotta do what you gotta do, man. I hear you. <laughs> they said that he'd be able to help us, that he has a cure. You two come here in the middle of my nap and wake me up and bring all this on me? You two must be out of your damn mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. It's her father. Okay, listen. I like you. You got guts coming all the way out here. I'll talk to the doc. Maybe he'll help you. But then again, maybe he won't.
You all wait here. I'll be back in a minute. Scanning, keep your bony ass off the furniture. So is he the butler or something? I think he might be the caretaker. Can we trust him? At this point, I don't think we have a choice. This place used to be used for private practice for the locals. If you ask me, I think this place is a loony bin. Loony bin? Let me tell you, it's a lot safer in here than it is out there. Oh, hello. Hello. Take your friend upstairs. I'd like to have a word with the girl. Anything you say, Doc. So, Busty's told me about your situation, but I'm afraid I can't help. What? Why not? You're a doctor. It's your job to help Calm me. down, my dear. Calm down. I'd love to help you, but there's no way I can get to your father. We have no vehicle, and obviously it's too far to go on foot. But the giant said that you used to go to Shambles all the time. How did you get there? Well, that's true. I used to go there once or twice a month, but... Unfortunately, our vehicle was lost. Lost? Well, taken by the raiders. I'll push you all the way there if I have to. Well, that's very brave of you, but it's much too far and way too dangerous. This is horrible. I came all this way here to find you, and now you're telling me that there is nothing you can do? Unfortunately, we can't make a cure. Although, we are working on a vaccine, but there's one crucial element missing. What is it? Oh, they're here. Jebediah. Emma, wait. Stop it, Jebediah! Stop it! Put an end to this! I'll do whatever you want. Enough. Ramon, take this pretty little thing to the truck. Now go on. Don't you even think about touching the merchandise. Hey, 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 hey. Get your hands off me, you monster. The house is clean, but I found a doctor in the back trying to escape. Where's Glenn? Glenn? You're begging for a bullet, old man, ain't you? Ah, that's all right. We got what we wanted. It's very nice seeing you, Doc. Let's go for a little ride. Skinny! Skinny! Come on, wake up, fool! Who, who that? What, what's happening? What's going on? Where's Emma? What's, what's it feel like happened to you? Got the crap kicked out of us, that's what happened. Oh. Oh. Doc, you, you, you okay? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. But we've got to get her back. Are you kidding me? I don't owe that girl a damn thing. I'm so close to finding a cure. So close to ending this hell, but she's crucial. Why, why do you care? 
We need the DNA from her blood. She holds the key to the cure. But time is running out. I've got great physique, just like you ask. Damn it, Leo! How dare you interrupt me when I'm playing Bach Tell Suite Number One? Oh man, get out of here! Jeez. Let me out of here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I have big plans for you. What plans? Are you that naive? Haven't you got any idea how much you are worth? In fact. I've got somebody who really wants to meet you. How can you do this? You are a monster. Oh, I'm not a monster, toots. If I were a monster, I'd let every one of my boys out there have a turn with you, and then feed you to the rottens. You'll be sorry. My pa is on his way. <laughs> I don't think so, girly. In fact, I think your pa would want you to have this. Just think of it as a little family reunion. <gasps> as much as I like this conversation, and your company, of course, time to go night night. <laughs> Looks like a damn redneck convention in there. Hey, watch that redneck. Boy. Who that? Oh, and I suppose you've got a plan. Some skinny. I don't know, but we gotta think of something real fast. What are you doing here? Whoa, easy, buddy. You're here for the girl, aren't you? Aren't you? What are you gonna do with her? Nothing like that, man. Just take it easy. We're Emma's friends. Glenn was hurt really, really bad. We just here to help. Glenn helped my family when we were down on our luck. Look, Glenn's a good man, but we don't have much time. Where's the girl? Deb's got her locked in a cage. We kept a close watch on her. Been with her ever since. Well. Looks like we're gonna need a little diversion then, doesn't it? We keep the rottens over there, holding up. If we let them out, that might do the trick. We're gonna need someone who gets in close. So I'll do it. Been picking on me because I'm small. Show them. 
We'll show them. I like the way you think. In and out. One shot is all we got. That's right. Hello, I'm Bobby Monster, internet horror host of Monster Movie Night. I'd like to speak out or scream out for some friends of mine, the Dabes. That's right, Tara the Dabes. You can find their site on the internet at Tara of the Dabes. And they're, that's right, there's two guys and they're both named Dave. They're wonderful, wonderful people who care about the monster world and the monster or the monster horror hosting world as well. Or just plain horror hosting world. Hmm? Either way, we are very thankful to be uh, shown up on their website and talked about or talked to. Uh, they allow us to put our next show's happenings or things that's going on here at the uh, museum on their website. And we thank them. And we want to give a big scream out for the Daves, the Terra. out there, Rusty. We won't have much time. The rotten's everywhere. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. She's still a bit groggy, but I got her. From now on, I'm with you guys. We're out of here. That's all right. Let me help you with that. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Jebediah's angry. He's coming for you.
Emma. I was so worried about you, Pa. I know, Angel. I'm so proud of you. Pa, your arm. Yep. It's good as new. <laughs> Folks at Shambles took real good care of me. I never thought I'd see you again. I know, too. I love you, Pa. I love you, too, Emma. But you gotta do something for me first, kid. What? Wake up! Emma, wake up! Zeke sure loves the boobs. <laughs> yep, mama breastfed him till he was 13. Hell, why do you think he's so damn big? Have you guys noticed? It's getting kind of spooky out there. How do you mean? Haven't you guys been watching the news? There's women getting rabies and running around mad crazy, biting people. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of my exes. You know, they're probably just on the rack, too. <laughs> You know, you guys did pretty good work out there today. You guys do any roofing work, too? Yeah, we do whatever. Me and Zeke, we're jacks of many trades. Good deal. Well, I think I'm gonna call it at night. Beer's up to this point on me. From here on, you guys are on your own. What? Already? So soon? You can't wuss out now. I'm not wussing out, Jeff. I got church first thing in the morning. Church? What a little bull crap. You know, God won't mind if you miss a day. Well, Jeb, I don't go to church because I think God would mind if I didn't. But I go to church because I want to. I go to church because I believe. You know, Glenn, you're almost cool. But this church thing, I just don't understand it. You know, I'm not sure I was ever a true believer until I met Rebecca. I swear, when I look at her and our beautiful daughter, I experience God's divine grace. And that's why I go to church. It's the least I can do to show my gratitude. Yeah, I understand, Glenn. When I look at your wife, I feel something divine, too. Come again? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I'm looking forward to the circus tomorrow. Feeling any better? I still have a fever. Maybe we can get some soup on the way home. Sure. Whatever you need. Sorry to take him away, boys, but we've got a busy day tomorrow. Church in the morning and the circus for Emma's birthday. Huh? No. Oh. Oh. All right, you two. Try to keep it under 15 beers this time. Don't leave yet. Gosh, you smell so damn good. Wait for me out in the truck. <clears throat> Just where the hell you get off putting your hands on my wife, Jeb? Hey, relax, preacher. If anything, it's a compliment. You know, she just looks so damn good. Mmm, <laughs> white, creamy skin, some long, smooth legs, and all oh, those great tits. <laughs> You know, I try to be a peace-loving man, Jeb, and I know you're drunk, but you have disrespected my wife. If it happens again, you and me are gonna have a problem. Is that a threat, Glenn? How you take it isn't my concern, Jeb. I'm just telling you how it is, so you'll know. You keep poking me with that finger, I might just cut it off. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey no, hey, no. He'll get his, he'll get his in time. You hear that, Glenn? You get what's coming to you. Oh, we all get what's coming to us in time, Jim. But if you ever come near my family again, 
I'll personally drag you straight to hell. <laughs> See you at the circus, Glenn. Feeling better, Emma? I think so. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. We're on our way back to Shambles now. Is Dr. Emerson here? No. We're gonna go get your father first, and then we'll go to the doc's place last. Who... Who else is here? Oh, just Rusty and Leo. He's our new friend now. And he bought you something. <gasps> My dress! Jebediah made me put this one on. I don't know how to thank you, all of you. You're welcome, Emma. I just can't wait to see Pa. He's gonna be so proud. It's gonna be okay. Okay, we're here. Skinny, you take Emma to see the father. While Leo and I stay here and keep watch. And hurry up. We ain't got much time. Hold up. Something's not right here. And something really doesn't feel right. Come on. Ah! Thought I'd find you here. Leave us alone, Jebediah. It's over. No, it's not. In fact, we're just getting started. What do you want? Well, let's see. First, I'm gonna shoot your father. Second, I'm gonna find that retard idiot, Leo, wherever the hell he's at, thought it was cute letting the rottens out. And third, I intend to sell you for a very large profit. Damn, boy. You as ugly as the Rottens, ain't you? <laughs> you know, I hear the Rottens just love dark meat. Leave him alone. This doesn't concern him. Now put the pitchfork down before I shoot you. You know, it's a shame. It's been interesting, this whole you and I thing. I like it. But just got to do what we got to do. You know, I feel like I'm having some good rapport with you. What the hell? Oh. No! There's nothing you can do for him now. We have to go. No! This can't be! We have to go. No! I can't leave him yet. I have to save him. There's nothing you can do for him now. Yes, I can. Emma, your better life.
starts now. Going on. They're all rotten. Every last single one of them. Even Glenn, he's turned and he's affected everybody. Start up the truck. I know our future looks grim, but Emma, don't worry. We'll find a home. We're all family now. My Boris, wasn't that a wonderful movie? It was scurrifying. It it, it had it had its moments, didn't it? Oh, I, I didn't know what was going exactly was building up to, but it really built up to something at the end there, didn't it? It most certainly did. You enjoyed it, you say? You got thumbs up or beaks up or talons or what it was have you? <laughs> I know. Anyway, I hope you all out there enjoyed the movie as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. And again, we want to thank Mr. Aaron K. Carter for making it and allowing us to show his film. It, I, I, I believe it's going to be a winner. I believe it's already a winner, and I think it's going to be a classic for years to come, especially here at uh, Monster Movie Nights. So, my friends, we've got our planting done, and we've got our feature film done tonight, and uh, we've everything is in order, and I'm, I, I see the droopy look in poor Boris's eyes, and beak that he's ready for uh, that perch, right? So I guess I'm ready for my coffin. I hope you are, and I hope that you'll always remember to come back and watch 
Monster Movie Night. And as always, keep screaming. Thank you.